Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial, and it's going to be of Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Also, if you're doing this tutorial, then you should definitely check out the Freddy Pixel Art that I'm also doing a Pixel Art tutorial on. So, let's get right into this. I will be showing you the blocks that you'll be needing for this Pixel Art. Now, I do recommend placing these blocks on the ground in front of the place where you're going to be building the Pixel Art. That way... It, you don't have to come back and guess which blocks that you'll be needing. Also, because this is going to be separated into a few parts of this entire tutorial of Foxy. So if you're going off to build a house or build another pixel or, or, I don't know, play with friends in a different part of your world, it's best if you just lay down these blocks so you don't have to go back to part one and see which blocks that you need to have in your inventory for this tutorial. So, the blocks that you're going to be needing for this pixel art are black wool, gray wool, bedrock, stone, light gray wool, white wool, birchwood planks, oakwood planks, spruce wood, pink, oh, this is the new thing that I've, I'm starting to use now, uh, the pink stained clay, because I'm playing on the Xbox 360, so it's, I got it in an update a little while ago, so this is the pink stained clay, the red wool, the nether rack, and the nether brick. So these are the blocks that you're going to be needing for this pixel art. So now, let's head over to the center block. Now, if you're new to my uh, tutorials, it's like as if this is your very, very first tutorial you're watching from me, then the center block we just place anywhere in the world where you want the pixel art to be centered. So this is going to be the very center of the pixel art. So we're going to place the center block there, and starting on the right side of the grass block, so starting on the right side of this, we never count the center block, but starting on top of this grass block, you're going to count all the way up to the number 64. Now, I do recommend using two different type of blocks, so say like maybe that or that or any, any other two different blocks to count by tens. You don't have to, I'm just recommending it so you don't lose count when you're counting all the way up to the number 64. So this grass block is one. This dumb horse is in the way. This is one, two, and he's still in the way. That's one, two, three, four, and you're going to keep counting all the way up to the number 64. Now, when you reach the number 64, you're going to break the grass block that's 64, and you're going to put a placement block there in the ground in its place. Now, the placement block, I recommend using the bookshelf. We're going to be using this a lot. So, put the placement block on the number 64 in the grass block. So, now let's go fly. By the way, pause the video now to catch up. So, now we're going to fly over to the center block, and this time we're going to start on the left side. So, now starting on the left side, so starting from... That grass block, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, and you're going to count all the way up to the number 64 again. So 64 on the right, and we're going to count 64 to the left. So starting from the center block, this is 1. Again, not counting the center block, the grass block. So this is 1, 2. You're going to keep counting all the way up until you reach the number 64. Once you've reached the number 64, you're going to break the uh, grass block that is 64 and put a placement block there in its place so it looks like this okay this is going to be our starting point a lot of people still don't understand why uh, I do this it's definitely going to help you out and me when I'm uh, instructing you throughout this tutorial so pause the video now to do that to catch up so now we're going to start off with the black wool now with the black wool starting on top of the left placement block that we put on the ground on the left side of the center block so starting on top of this placement block so starting from there you're going to place four blocks going up that's one, two, three, four. Now let's go back down here and place one black wool on the right side of the bottom block of the four blocks going up. So place one there. And by the way, I do use terms, but uh, I do instruct you at a slow pace, so hopefully you'll be able to understand those terms. And I'm speaking to those who are new to my uh, pixel art tutorials. So... Let's go back to these four blocks going up, starting from the top block, so starting from that block. You're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's, no, the right. That's one, two. Believe me, I had a lot of recording to do and a lot of re-recording to do, which is why uh, this is turning into a long day. So that's two blocks going diagonal. Not the Minecraft day, I mean real life day. It's just been a long day for me. So that's two blocks going diagonal. So starting from that block now, 
you're going to place two sets of twos. Now, if you're new to my tutorials, that term is probably new to you, but it should be easy for you to understand after a while. Just pay close attention. You're going to place two sets of twos going up on the right. And I know for some of you, that's probably going to be looking as if I went really fast. Didn't really explain. But there is also this cool little feature on YouTube. It's called the pause button. Use it if it's going too fast instead of wasting your time complaining in the comment section and me wasting my time reading your little whiny complaints that it's going too fast. For, and for those of you who have used the pause button, shout out to you. You're awesome. Thank you for not complaining in the comment section. So now that we have the two sets of twos going up, you're going to place one block going diagonal up to the right. So that's one. And now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Get rid of that. And it should look like this so far. Now we're going to move down. And starting from that block there, that one block that we placed at the beginning... You're going to place two blocks going up on the right side. That's one, two. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now place three sets of twos going up on the right side. Three sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. Get rid of those. And then place one block going diagonal up to the right. And that's one. And it should look like this so far. Now, I know some of you are probably wondering, Felix, why are you using weird terms that I've never heard before? Well, it's to help me progress the pixel art in an easier way, in, in a faster kind of easy way to understand once you understand the terms. Because it's so much slower if I said, okay, put two blocks going up on the right. Okay, now put two blocks going up on the right. Okay, now put two blocks going up on the right. Okay, you, you get, I mean, do you understand? Saying three sets of twos going up on the right is a lot faster than repeating myself three times in a row. So, three sets of twos going up on the right, so that's one, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, three. It's fast, and uh, I don't want to sound mean or anything. I know it's going to be a little difficult for those uh, younger viewers that are following my tutorials, but these are extremely large pixel arts that I make, so try your best to keep up. So now let's go back to the four black wools going up. Starting on top of this black wool, you're going to place two placement blocks going up. So that's one, two. And it should look like this. Switch to the black wool. Starting on top of the placement block, starting from uh, pretty much there on top of it, you're going to place three sets of twos going up on the right side. Three sets of twos. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. That's three sets of twos going up on the right. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And now place two sets of twos going up on the right side. Two sets of twos. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going up on the right side. One, two. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going up on the right side. One, two. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right right. That's one. And now two blocks going up on the right side. That's one, two. Now I'll fly back a bit to show you. It should look exactly like this so far because there was a lot of just one, two, one, two, one, two, and I know it could be somewhat confusing if you don't place a certain amount. So it should look like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare, just to make sure you've placed all the blocks in the correct spots. So, now let's go back up, back up here, and you're going to place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And two blocks going up on the right side. One, two. 
Now starting from the top block of these two blocks going up, starting from the right side of it, so starting from there, you're going to place three blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, and three. I place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now let's go back up to the two blocks going up here. So going back to these two blocks, starting from the top block again. So starting from that block, you're going to place one block going diagonal up to the left. So that's one. I'll fly back a bit so you can see. That should look exactly like this so far. Now you're going to place three blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three. And place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. That's two blocks diagonal up to the right. So it should look like this. And place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Now one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. Now place 14 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. 14. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen blocks going across upper level to the right. So now let's go back, and you're going to switch to the placement block, and put a placement block on top of the right block of the 14 blocks, so place one on the right block. Switch to the black wall, starting on the left side of the placement block, you're going to place two black walls going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, and two. Get rid of those, and it should look like this. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. Three blocks across. So that's one, two, three. Now one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Three blocks across, upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now place seven blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. That's seven blocks going diagonal down to the right. So now let's get rid of these. And let's go back to these three blocks going across up here. And starting from the left block of these three blocks, or starting from that block, you're going to place one block going diagonal up to the left. So that's one. Now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. Now place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. That's one and two. And place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. Now place one block going diagonal down to the right. That's one. And now nine blocks going across on the lower level to the right. Nine blocks across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now starting from the left block of these nine blocks going across, so starting from the left block underneath it, you're going to count two blocks over to the right. So this being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. Now starting underneath this black wall, you're going to place one black wall there. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. 
Now let's head over to the right block of the nine blocks going across. So underneath the right block of the nine blocks, place one black wool. Now starting underneath the one block, you're going to place six blocks going across to the left, starting underneath it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now place one black wool underneath the left block of these six blocks going across. So place one block there. Then two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two. And now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three. Now let's go back up here to the six blocks going across. So going back to these six blocks going across, starting from the right block. So starting from that block, you're going to place three blocks going down on the right side. So that's one, two, three. And it should look like this. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. Now place four blocks going down on the right side. Four. One, two, three, four. Now let's go all the way back up, back to the nine blocks going across to the right, and we're going to start on top of the right block of the nine blocks. So starting from there, you're going to add 13 blocks going up, just on top of it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13 blocks going up. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And now two blocks going up on the right side. That's one and two. I'll fly back a bit so you can see. And it should look exactly like this so far. Now let's go back to the two blocks going up, and starting from the top block on the left side of it, so starting from there, you're going to add five blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now place nine blocks going across on the lower level to the left. Nine blocks across, lower level. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine blocks across. You place four blocks going across on the upper level to the left. On the upper level, four blocks across. One, two, three, four. Now place eight blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. One, two. Now one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now three blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. So it should look like this so far. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. And now eight blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two. Now starting from the left block of the two blocks going across, so starting from that block, 
You're going to place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Now four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. One, two, three. And it should look like this so far. Okay. Now place three blocks going up on the right side. One, two, three. Now place 12 blocks going up on the left side. So on the left side, not the right, the left 12 blocks going up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12 blocks going up on the left. Now you're going to place something that's called a linked block, or linked blocks. They, essentially, it's just connected to the last block that we just placed, so we don't have to put a placement block to get to it. So you're going to place a linked four blocks going up on the right side. A linked four blocks going up. And it looks like this. That's one, two, three, four. Now the number doesn't matter. It's just the term that you have to pay attention to. The linked. In other words, we're connecting it to the very last block that we just placed. So this is what a linked four blocks. I mean, it could have been a linked five blocks or a linked two blocks. Pretty much you're going to connect it to the last block that I told you or the last block that um, you placed. So it's going to look like this. That's a linked block. So that's a linked four blocks going up. Now, again, just to give you a heads up, I do use terms. I'm not going to be saying, all right, go over here. Okay, now go one block diagonal there. All right, now you're going to go like this too. All right, now you're going to go. That's what all the dumb tutorial people do. I'm not doing that. I explain everything so you don't complain that you didn't understand what. Because I go slow and I explain everything. Although even... Even now, there's still people that are complaining that I still go too fast, which still doesn't make any sense to me. So, starting from that block, you're going to place one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now, starting on top of this one block, so starting from there, you're going to place nine blocks going across to the left. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. That's nine blocks going across. Now place two sets. No, not two, but three sets. Place three sets of twos. And I'm pretty sure this is probably hard for some of the new people, like the brand new people still. But just do your best. Pay attention. Place three sets of twos going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. Now that's what three sets of twos looks like. Let's get rid of those. And now place six blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's get rid of those. Now you're going to place... Five sets of twos going up on the left side. Five sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. That's five sets of twos going up on the left. By the way, shout out to you if you're not having any trouble and it's easy for you to follow with all the terms that I've been using. Shout out to you. Now place three blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three. And now you're going to place nine blocks going up on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now place 
15 blocks going across on the upper level to the right. 15 blocks across, upper level to the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 blocks going across, upper level to the right. Now place four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. 14, no, not 14, four blocks. Four blocks across, lower level to the right. One, two, three, four. Now place three blocks going across on the lower level to the right. One, two, three. And now place three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. Three sets of twos. One, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. That's three sets of twos. Now place six blocks going diagonal down to the right. Six blocks diagonal down to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six. And now three blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three. Now place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. And now you're going to place nine blocks going down on the right side. Nine blocks going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine blocks. And let's go back down. Now starting from the bottom block of the nine blocks going down, so starting from there, you're going to count two blocks up, this being the first block that you count. So this is one. And this is two. Now you're going to start from that block there, the second block that we counted up. Starting on the left side of that block, so starting from there, you're going to place five blocks going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now place seven blocks going diagonal down to the left. Seven blocks diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. And the seventh block should be making contact with these four linked blocks going up. So now let's get rid of those placement blocks. And now let's go back over here, back to where we had the nine blocks going across that started on top of this one block that went diagonal to the left. So going back to these nine blocks going across, starting from the right block, so starting from that block, you're going to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Two blocks across. So that's one, two. Now place six blocks going diagonal up to the right. Six blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the sixth block should be making contact with the five black holes going down. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look like this. Now we're going to switch to the gray wool for a few seconds. So switching to the gray wool, going back down here, going back to these four linked blocks going up, Starting from the top block, so starting from that block, you're going to place two gray wolves going up on the right side. So that's one, two. So it looks like this. Now place one gr gray wolf going diagonal up to the right. So that's one. And then one block going diagonal down to the right. And that's one. So it looks like this. Now we're going to put away the gray wool, and we're going to switch to the placement block. And with the placement block, we're going to move back over here, back to the nine blocks going down on the right. Starting from the bottom block on the right side of it, so starting from there, you're going to place three blocks going up with placement blocks. That's one, two, three, 
You're going to switch to the black wool and place two black wools going up on top of the placements. So that's one, two. Now get rid of those. So it looks like this. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. And that's one. And it should look like this. So I'm going to pause here and continue my Foxy Minecraft pixel art tutorial in part 2. Now I get asked a lot when are the new parts for specific tutorials or when are they going to be released. Uh, you have to go watch the Pawu videos that I upload. Here's a little sample of a thumbnail for what to look for. Now the Pawu stands for Pixel Art Weekly Update. That's what Pawu stands for. Essentially every Monday I give you the schedule on what certain pixel art tutorial part will be uploaded on what certain day of the week so instead of spamming because i'm not going to reply to your questions of saying when is this going to get uploaded when is this you have to go you have to put in the effort of going to watch the pawu video every monday it gives you the schedule i tell you the schedule every monday in that pawu video i upload a new pawu video each week and i give you the schedule so if you're wondering when a certain pixel art tutorial part will be released Go to that video, it will go ahead and tell you the entire week, not just for one pixel art, but all of them. In the Pawu videos, you can also leave your requests there, because I do not take requests in tutorial parts, in time lapses, in showcases. I do not take tutorials in any of my YouTube videos, except the Pawu video. So if you have a request that you want to leave on the, in a YouTube video, you have to leave it in the Pawu videos, because pretty much leaving it in any tutorial time lapse or showcasing, I'm not going to pay attention to it, and I'm not going to count it. So I only look at the Pawu videos when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, uh, I also look there. But if you're going to leave a request on a YouTube video, make sure you leave it in a Pawu video. So that does it for this part. Be sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.